How to build your business model canvas. Why it is important to make a plan for your business. Traditionally, each one of us was relying on the words and number, and we are not looking for a visual components. And this is what business model canvas provide us. It helped us to make a clear vision. It provide us with a clear description for our business. It looks to the customer values, while the traditional aspects or the traditional business plan or model was looking for the business from the perspective of the owner, not from the perspective of the customer. The business model canvas helped us to sustain our business. It is an excellent tool for a brainstorming, not to set up for just rules and regulation, but help us to get start. So to start with the business model canvas, we are going to explain Netflix case in this model. But before this, what is it? It is describe the rationale of how organization create and deliver capture value proposition. And this is the core of our business model canvas. Think about the value proposition, the gain, the incremental gain, or the value added that the customer will get. So to look for the business model canvas, we have to start with getting an idea. This idea, it's come from a problem or a pain or solving a problem for customers. And then we're going to build together the nine building blocks and then tell you a story of the business model canvas for Netflix. So the business model canvas is start with the purpose of the study. It's playing with us a lot of the aspects that we have it in this business model canvas. So to think about a startup, it's help you to organize and know what is the most efficient way to think about all the pieces together within the business model canvas. So the next question that we have to look for in our business model, what it is important, what are these pieces, why they are highly related to each other and how we can link them together. So they start by setting the customer values proposition looking for the channels and the customer relationship, dig deeper for the key resources, activities, and partners, and list the cost structure, revenue stream, and linking the boxes together and tying all them up. Don't forget to tell your story, to get customer engaged. And this is within the list of the assumption that we are going to look for. So let's start by link your idea with the value proposition. The value proposition is the most important how to organize a company around functional organization and think about the concepts and the gain that you are going to provide it for your customer. So is it gain? It is customer pain or you are going to solve for them a problem. So the value proposition gain creators and provide me with a new product so I can maintain and help people to attract to my product. So the value proposition, it is the core of your businesses. This is the heart of the business model. It's not only about, how about, about the gain that you are going to provide it by the product, but it's about the idea itself, solving a problem that the customer looking for and someone will get out of his mind this problem and you are easing the life and it is a fancy word of what product or service you are building for the customer in order to accelerate or give him a benefit whenever it is available. So it is very important to provide it through technology recently, or maybe the technology that we are recently surviving in provide a lot of a proposition to customers and help them to get a lot of benefit from our the products or the product you are planning to go from your small business. So there is a difference between the problem and the need. And it is the problem that let's say, for example, I have a problem in using a certain devices, but the need it is completely different. I need enjoyment, I need entertainment, I need to have fun, I need to communicate through social media. So there is a completely different between the problem and the need, and you have to differentiate it. So in our case today, we're going to look how Netflix use the need and how it fulfill the entertainment for their customer. 
after the first step, we are going to look for our customer segmentation, the persona that we have it. As you see here, we have different type of persona, different types of segments. What are your customer? What are you are looking for? Which segments you are looking for? Who they are, what their, their income, what their gender, what their preferences. So we need to think about the customer and the geographical society characteristic, the demographic situation that they are in order to provide them buy the good product and design them the suitable product to match their requirements or their perspective. So maybe you have two or three customers and we have different persona, but you need to understand them in detail and to dig deeper in their possible requirements and put hypotheses and try to fulfill their needs. Number three, we we'll have to look for the channel of distribution. After 1990s and the technology, the channels of distribution has been changed dramatically. So the internet facilitate a lot of the business. Historically, we were using the producer and we go for the broker and the wholesaler and then the retailer and consumers. So we have a lot of intermediate stage between the producer and the consumer. And after 1990, we find this decade, the channels of the web, mobiles, the cloud and distribution channels has been changed from offline to online channel of the distribution, attracting more customers to people. So the physical channels are also web presence. What is the relation here and how you are going to provide your products to the customer? So after the channel of distribution by differentiated between the offline and the online and how you are getting to the customer directly, we are going to look for the customer relationship, how you can get and keep and grow them. So the customer relationship, it is a very complicated issue. So how does a company get keep and grow their customer? What they are thinking about? how they can reach them, what are the different types of web mobile and how they are reaching through from physical channels to internet. So it is quickly a web example that you can use it in order to reach customer and maintain the good relationship with them and help them to grow and keep them with your product attached and get feedback from them. So it is a very dynamic, activity that you have to continue developing and spend more money and invest and thinking about their whole expectation or maybe exceed and delight the customers here. So it is important to dig deeper in the customer's preferences. If I succeed in this, so then I will go to the revenue stream. Maybe the revenue stream, it is not the pricing as we usually in the traditional model, business model, but here, how you are going to keep the customer with a value through your product, a customer paying for your product and think about the value that they are gonna have it from your product. So maybe you are going to use the freemium approach such as Dropbox, Netflix, a lot of activities, Google Drive, or you can use a subscription model that the revenue model will achieve later so it is a different perspective than the revenue prices or the price of the product. So here, how can I attack them? How can I let them interact with my hundred thousand of customers and get them engaged with me in order to maintain a revenue stream? So paid value proposition is very important. And maybe here you are getting three third party revenue generator through your revenue stream that you are designing the revenue model you are going to choose. After that, we have to list all the key resources that we are going to have. So the key resources here, that's it required to make your business work. Maybe it's physically, facilities, building, vehicles, distribution network. Maybe it's intellectual, maybe branding or copyrights, or you have a genuine product, which is having a, a copyrights or patency here. Maybe the humans and the sales force or the people who are engaged with or the financial, the cash, the stocks, all these things, it is very important that you have to display it in order to know how specific these items because the key resources, are they available? 
uh, is it accessible? Is it available with a competitive prices? So this is what you need to understand and in order to minimize the risk cost. After we determine the key resources, we go for the key partners. Who are the, our strategic alliance? Who are the ventures? The, who are the supplier? Who are the buyers here? This is interesting we need to ask ourselves before we deal with the products or the partners, how we can get them and how they are be our strategic alliance or key partners because the success of the businesses depend on our key partners or the big player, the stakeholder that are engaged in my products. After we determine the key partners, we have to look for the key activities. What are the activities that I have to go for? Maybe I am working in production, maybe it is a services, maybe it is a sales or customer relation, maybe it's a, a development of the product, keeping developing. So the key activity is the most important thing that you need to do for the business to make the business model work. Are you in the production business or you are making services or you are using technology? So is it based on engineering? managing supply chain, what are the key activities you need to become expert at it. After that, we go for the cost structure, which has represented the important aspect as well into the lines block. Here we have different types of costs. We have the direct cost, which is related to the raw material, labor, and we name it the COX, cost of goods sold. And this is what we call it the prime cost or the cost of goods sold, and it is directly related to the production. And the other aspect, it is the indirect, and you will have here the factory, the overhead, the operational, the administration, uh, the distribution costs, research and development, all these items, we name it the total items of the indirect cost, which can be having a fixed cost or a variable cost. So if you know all your total cost from the direct and the indirect, this means the end you can compare it with your sales and at the end you can know if your business model achieving a profit or not. So this is, must be clear in front of yourself. So after we explain the nine blocks for a business model canvas from the first one, key partners, activity, resources, customer segmentation, value proposition, customer relationship, channel of distribution, cost structure and revenue stream, we're going to give you a very interesting example of one of the very business model existing in the 20th century, 21st century, which is Netflix. So if we go for the Netflix here, you will find the business model of Netflix for the key partners that we are going to start by, that the key partner here represent the content, the owners, uh, shows the movies of the Netflix, acquire the license. It also, in consists of the internet service provider, ISB, which is an essential to the delivery of the content of the products of Netflix. But there are also a tectonic shift happening recently because they are using a high technology in streaming. Also uh, Amazon website, almost all of the Netflix IT is hosted by Amazon. So these are the key partners from the key partners as well, the filmmakers, and the individuals, in addition to the cinema theater, that they are displaying their products or services through the films, film festivals as well. This is one of the key partners where they are engaged with films festivals as well, strong promoters for their services, influencers, in addition to the IP holders, regulatory bodies from the Federal Communication Commission, all these aspects are the key partners in addition to the investors who they have shares inside Netflix. So you see how much it is complicated. So who are the key partners here? We have listed seven items for the key partners in Netflix business model. What about the key activity? The key activity that it is Netflix is engaged with, the activity that they are spending a lot of money in, in the technology and the development and investment in the updating the content and the product that they are providing it in order to keep peak traffic for their channels and streaming. Number two, content license and acquisition, the license and acquisition of the content 
have been the main way to add content in the first year after Netflix started streaming. Content creation as well. Since 2013, Netflix started creating their own content. Also the marketing, the influencing, the analytics are the main key activity that Netflix is engaged with. After we see these two key partners here, where we are have just finishing them from the Netflix business model, we can go for we can go for the next step after we finish the key partner and the key activity. We are going to look for the key resources here. So the key resources that is going to reflect later on the course of structure, the key resources that Netflix is heavily depending on it the branding that they are providing and they are using to promote they want to rank within the globe top 10 top 100 brands also the application and the website the key resources that they are delivering experience and content they are providing content library content library one of the main important aspects for the key resources because they invest too much algorithm constant analysis in order to make analysis for better improvement of the business, recommendation for under algorithmic, but it is such an integral part of the Netflix success, the data, the technology staff, the actors, the writer, the filmmakers, all these aspects of the key resources is going to reflect on, reflect basically on the cost of structure, the cost structure of the business model here, in addition to the studios, in addition to the uh, influencing that they are keeping their streaming alive. So all these aspects is going to reflect here on the cost of structure. So the, how much of cost of technology, the marketing, the spending, the customer services. So here I'm quite sure that Netflix is succeeded according to the previous video that we so that it is going to keep the revenue and its revenue is exceeding its cost. So you will see later in the previous video that the revenue streaming is more than the cost. After we explain the main important items here, we are going to go for the core of the business model, the success story. What are the core and what are the success story? So it is the freemium and the personalization and localization for Netflix. So Netflix value proposition is depending on the content library and huge content library they are having. In addition, there is no ads at all and no disturbing. So it is giving the customer more satisfaction. The ability to bring watch, they can also bring watch all episode of one season of a series and it's become available at the same time, which is satisfy the customer. Simple pricing, which is one of the magnificent thing using a flat fee in order to attract customer with unlimited access. In addition to this, this great stimulus the customer and attract them. Convenience and the mobility of the product, they can access to it through different uh, devices, easily to reach, in addition, the high quality of the connection, it is important to reach the product and can have it on CDs, it's having on streaming. So no premium here. So if you, sorry, if you need here premium products, so you start by the premium, and then if you want to enjoy the premium, then you are going to look for more, more access and more uh, enjoyment through a premium product for more content here. So in addition to that, the most important items, which is the personalization through the recommendation system, according to the location that you have it, according to the translation that they provided, where they translated a lot of their content, not just in the US. So the value proposition of Netflix guarantee for them higher revenue streaming. So by providing them with a high value proposition, then Netflix succeeded in their business model. Let's see what are the other aspects that it is here, very important for us, which is the key customer with the core for Netflix. 
self services via the applications that they are providing through the customer relation they are keeping in contact using user supports and they are keeping tracking the users and satisfying them with more products and getting feedback in order to listen to the customer to keep a dynamic mode updating finally the recommendation of the system that they are using through their app in order to excel and upgrade their services to meet the customer expectation. So as you see here, we are providing here Netflix, the channels of distribution here. It is very interesting because they can use the desktop, the tablet, the mobile app stores for the Netflix application, social media, media outline, media outlet, film festivals. So these are the channels of distribution that they can use it in order to expand. If you go for the customer segmentation, so the brilliant thing is in the customer segmentation, they use the micro segmentation into 2000 taste cluster determined by viewing history, various micro segmenting as a part of A and B testing of a new features platform improvement. They use also user segmentation based on usage parameters such as technology, screen size, viewing behavior, first show, browsing behavior. So in addition to the micro segmentation, we can go for the macro segmentation used for ad targeting, such as the geographical promotion, geodemographic geodemo places, age, all these aspects. It is providing us with all segmentation. So they are targeting all customers with different segments. All this will guarantee their revenue streaming for the revenue streaming, more than 99% of the revenue comes from the subscriptions fees to the this stage. All other revenues are insignificant. There are opportunity for other types of future revenue, such as the premium, the content, the license. So basically the subscription fees through the international streaming, US streaming, US DVD, three different plans. In the future, they are targeting to reach license revenue for the Netflix on the contact. So by this, we finish the business model canvas and we explain the nine building blocks for the business model canvas, wishing you a successful business model for your own small business. Thank you and waiting for your comments.